Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a reading. We're going to focus on the messages you need to hear that are going to be helpful for you for this current time. Um, and it's going to be in relation to you and your person. So um, we'll see what's coming up. I want to entitle, uh, uh, sorry, I want to title this uh, what you need to do right now. Okay, so this is sort of your next move, your next step in your current uh, love situation. So we'll see where your focus needs to go um, and what is it that you can do to sort of help you move along um, in your next sort of, in, in this time frame, in sort of your next move. Okay, let's have a look and see. Okay, the next move, what do you need to do? Okay, there's some emotional turbulence um, that's happening. Okay. Okay, so um, the sign, the only sign that has come up is Cancer. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got the Chariot and we've got the Moon, and both cards represent the sign of Cancer. So Cancer is a very emotional energy. And straight away, there is some sort of attachment that's happening around you. Um, now, this attachment has possibly suffered in the recent past or maybe currently um, has suffered a bit of a shake up here with the Tower card. So this is something you maybe didn't see coming. Um, but I feel like a shake up was needed in your current situation for you to see things um, or for you to be released from some some sort of turbulent thing. The Ten of Swords is here. So there was something that kept happening or kept going on. Okay, so there was a cycle, something kept repeating itself. Um, maybe you kept having the same argument, maybe you kept having the same thoughts, maybe you kept breaking up. Um, the Ten of Swords is like this, you know, it might have even been like cheating. It's a disruptive pattern. Um, and a lot of you are still like, you're being gripped by this, so you're somehow, you're still affected, okay? Um, and I feel like this is a time, your next move should be that you need to weigh things up, okay? There's a lot of... There's a lot of weighing up that you need to do with the Two of Pentacles. Um, you've been sitting on the fence for quite some time about a situation, or it's time you do sit on the fence about a situation. Now, there's a message here that you need to weigh things up in your current love situation. Um, there might have been a bit of fantasy or a projection that you've had with the Reverie card. Reverie is like fantasies, um, you know, making up these stories. It could even be assumptions. This is reversed though. So it's almost like you'll need to eliminate some sort of thoughts. Now it could even be that you're having cyclical thoughts. Why? Because the 10 of swords is here and the swords is air. It's air energy. It could be concerning an air sign for some of you. Um, for others, this air card, it, it, I mean, we've got the five of swords and the queen of swords. So there is an air sign involved for a lot of you. Okay. So the, the two most common signs that have come up, the two most prominent signs are water, which we have cancer, and we have air. So air can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, the Five of Swords, they look a little bit lost. Okay, so something's been lost in translation, either with an air sign or communication-wise. There hasn't been much productive um, things happening. And you might have felt very disoriented, very lost, um, and things might have happened very suddenly and you weren't expecting it. Okay, okay. Um, but it's almost like a part of you is still like really self-consumed in what it is that happened with the Ten of Swords and you keep playing it over and over and over again in your mind. Um, I want to say in this deck, the Queen of Swords, she represents like a conversing and getting down to the bottom of something. But in this deck, she's almost like this, this bird, the bird represents communication and his beak is shut. So there's a message here that contact may need to be limited or you may need to withdraw or retreat in a certain situation. Um, there may be a situation here for some of you that the universe might try to be tell you that it's best to be in no contact right now um, or it's best to whatever it is that you're thinking not to express it to someone if you know it's going to cause the tower energy. So I feel like with the queen of swords there could be a message here that be careful who you're telling your problems to as well. Maybe people you think you trust, but unless you trust them wholeheartedly, if they've burned you before in the past, which this is the past coming back up, this is what's happening here. Now, I feel like with the chariot card coming up, um, there is an emotional matter um, coming up. Now, the moon can also be the past. So for some of you, the past is coming back into your life somehow. 
um, or there's a message here that you shouldn't repeat the past. I do want to say cycles and you have the past. So for some of you, there's an ex coming back into the picture. Um, but a lot of you may not reply or may not respond to this person. Why? Because you don't want to get caught up in the same kind of energy again. There's maybe a third party situation. There's three people involved here for some of you. Um, so for someone, there's the person from your past may be coming in and they're keeping their options open because we've got five of swords feature three people, the two of pentacles and the tower card. The tower can be like dishonesty. Okay. The tower card can be something crumbling. So look, if something has crumbled around you recently, a relationship, um, a connection, um, you know, if you've tried to communicate with this person and you just feel like you're like depending on them for their control and their love and, you know, to hear from them and it's not happening, it's going to cause you high amounts of anxiety um, and it's going to affect you emotionally. And, you know, we're only human. Of course, we're going to be affected by these sorts of things and it's going to hurt us deeply. But um, this can be this can be like deep wounds coming up. So. Um, maybe for a lot of you, if you're going through something right now, um, whether it's a breakup or no contact, um, I feel like the next move for you is to build a wall and protect yourself because maybe this person has hurt you. Maybe they are wanting to come back and you're fearful that they may hurt you again. Um, so I, I do feel like a lot of you have to build a wall or create some sort of barrier. Don't make yourself easy to get to. Um, because this person needs to realize that they've deeply hurt you. But I do want to say issues from the past could be coming up. So for a lot of you, you may be reliving some sort of trauma that has happened. Um, if it's like loss, for example, and it's happened to you previously, you could be in an energy where you're reliving it once again. You're reliving that trauma. And, you know, there might be a message here that to not open up if you don't feel ready Um don't open up with the Queen of Swords. If you're not ready to talk and you're not ready to open up and be vulnerable, that's okay. Um, a lot of you with the reverie reversed, it could be either you're having like unrealistic fantasies or there's a message here from the universe that your next move is to eliminate some sort of unrealistic fantasy where it's not going anywhere. Um, I feel there there is potentially a wish here, something that you want to come true or something that you're looking forward to and you're attaching a lot of emotion to it, obviously. Um, and you know, you need to hone in on that energy because the chariot shows progress. So you are making progress, whether you're aware of it or not. Um, and I feel like for some of you, there's a message here that you need to remember you are making progress, even if it feels like you're not, um, or even if you feel like time is standing still and every day is getting tougher, regardless, you're still taking baby steps and you're still moving forward because we've got the car, but the car is also a symbol of yes a journey but also protection so there could be a message here that you need to protect yourself right now okay protect yourself from you know don't put yourself in harm's way right now if you're not ready to date for example don't if you're not ready to speak up about what's going on internally you know you're not if you're not ready you're not ready um you know try to listen listen to your intuition because it's it's probably telling you something i feel like you need to either connect with your intuition somehow the moon is also intuition, okay? It's It could be our fears. It could be things we don't want, things we don't want to attract. Um, it could be anxiety. Um, but this is a message of listening to your intuition and honing in on that. So your next move should be following your intuition and looking at your past, okay? Seeing where you can heal from your past, which is going to help you somehow in this current situation. Um, especially mentally speaking, these three air cards the five, the 10, the queen, to go from the five, the 10 to the queen, there is showing growth and understanding, but it's almost like, because the queen of swords is like the highest in the air, air, um, air deck that has come up, it's almost like a message like you're making progress and you don't even need to tell someone about it. You don't, you don't need to rub it in their face. You don't need to communicate because you know the progress that you're making. So regardless of what's coming up, I think this is a fantastic energy. Um, let's see what else comes up. What else do you need to know? Um, where you're currently at. Okay, but right, just... All right, we have a few cards. The Empress, the Page of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Judgment. Okay, there's uh, karmic things that are happening right now, things that are destined to happen. Um, you're getting your karma. 
Okay, so your next move, you're getting your karma and you need to embrace that. Whether it's good karma, whether it's bad karma, know that the world has a funny way of balancing itself out again. And that's the message that is coming to you. There's wonderful growth happening here. Um, the Empress, I see for a lot of you, you're going to be working on yourself, on your appearance, internally and externally. You're going to be doing a lot of um, work on yourself, or there's a message here that that's what your next move should be. Don't take ma massive risks right now because you're not ready emotionally or mentally, especially. There's more air energy that's come through. Um, and you can see with the Page of Swords, he's the risk taker. He's the anxious energy, okay? And he sometimes jeopardizes things or sabotages things, okay? So look how he's standing on the edge here. He's taken some risks. Now, I would see that it's almost like a warning not to take a risk here because you may open some sort of can of worms here. We've got the door. You could open this door. And, you know, with a judgment card, it's it's it can be brutal sometimes. It can be, it's like a harsh reality. Um, and I feel with the Page of Swords, um, don't do something that you could later regret because I feel like the judgment and the high priestess, there's a lot that you're not understanding right now that is coming to you eventually. And right now things that have happened around you may not make sense, but that doesn't mean they'll always be like that. The high priestess is really like things that are a mystery and we really try our hardest to understand, okay, why do they say that or why didn't they do that or why couldn't they commit or why do they have to leave or why do they have to chase me the way that they do? You know, there might be a lot of uncertainty around a major question that you're asking um, and I feel like this is going to come in time and it's going to come the more you look at your past or you look at some sort of traumatic event, maybe between you and your person, maybe this is from the past. Um, there may be a lesson here that needs to be learned for some of you. You know, you've got the judgment, the high priestess, not to let your anxiety and your emotional past um, jeopardize or sabotage something that you have right now. So I feel like the move is, the, your next move is to weigh things up on a very serious level, on a very emotional level. Um, and I feel like that's going to bring you more understanding and it's definitely going to bring you more growth. But once you get into that energy, you will attract everything it is that you need, whether it's a significant person, a particular conversation, a milestone in a connection. And isn't that always the way? Once we feel ready and once we feel like we've grown and we feel good within ourselves and we feel confident, isn't it always the way that we get to attract what it is that's truly meant for us? And the Empress is all about this beautiful manifestation that's happening. And she's so in her element. She's almost like um, levitating here. So you may not see it now. And there may be a lot of things impacting you emotionally. But that doesn't mean that it's always going to be this way. Because eventually there's going to come a time where you're going to feel like you're on cloud nine. You're going to be happy with the progress you've made. You're going to be happy with the progress that's made in a relationship. And eventually you'll understand everything that it is that you have to understand with the judgment card. It's all going to make sense. Um, you know, and you're going to understand those sorts of messages. The bird, the bird is a messenger. Um, but you can't do that. So long as you're thinking about what is and you're concentrating on what is that's all that you're going to continue to get. What is, what is, what is. It's important that you look at what is from a different vantage point. And I think this will come in time. And eventually things will, you'll see things almost maybe through rose-colored glasses. So, you know, hopefully this resonates with those that have clicked on this reading. Um, if you have, then it, it, it's for you. Um, and I felt like there might be a lot of you out there in a current situation that needed to hear this and that is possibly quite refreshing for you to hear. So I really do appreciate you tuning into the channel. Um, and uh, of course, please stay in tune for more content, which is coming your way. Uh, thank you again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. So thank you. Much love and bye for now.